Hello, my name is Tim Needham, and my co-author is Professor Michael Brosh from Ohio University. In this video abstract, I introduce our work titled Gravity Modeling in GNSS-Aided Inertial Navigation System Safety Certification. The core of the problem is that inertial sensors cannot distinguish between Newtonian acceleration and the reaction to gravity. Accelerometers measure specific force. However, NINS needs acceleration so it can integrate a couple times and get position. As shown in the equations below, Gravity needs to be estimated so the acceleration can be isolated. Unfortunately, the models and databases used to estimate gravity contain commission and omission errors, and these errors get integrated along with the true acceleration resulting in position errors. In civil aviation, GNSS-aided inertial navigation systems are commonly used. When GNSS is present, INS errors such as those caused by gravity mismodeling can be estimated and corrected. However, the navigation system must be able to coast during GNSS outages while still providing integrity. The navigation systems undergo large-scale simulation testing where they are subjected to hundreds of thousands of hours of simulated flight time. In order to do so, an efficient yet robust method for testing the navigation performance due to gravity mismodeling is needed. This work presents a methodology to develop a gravity simulation architecture using autoregressive moving average or ARMA models. A gravity residual consists of deterministic and stochastic components. In our work, we utilize ARMA models to represent the stochastic portion of the residual. As previously shown by others and revisited in this work, the along track and cross track components of the gravity residual have different statistical properties and thus require different models for each. The stochastic models are developed by evaluating the residuals using system identification techniques. First, the model orders are selected, then candidate model coefficients are identified and then validated against the measured data. Gaussian bounding techniques are used to analyze the magnitudes of the residuals and to determine the correct scaling of the white noise driving the ARMA models. Once the final ARMA models are designed, the gravity residuals can be generated as shown here where the coefficients phi and theta represent the structure of the signal and the white noise variance determines the magnitude of the signal. Thank you for listening to this brief overview of our work. For more information, please check out our navigation journal paper.